How's it going everyone, I'm Gaming Raptor, and in today's video, I will be going over the Black Prior in 2024. Now, I didn't get the chance to do Black Prior in 2023, but I most definitely want to do one for 2024 with you guys today. And I overall want to go over Black Prior since he's really a good heavy in the meta right now. Even in 4s, he's really good. And in 1s, he's still strong in 1s too. He can hold his own in 1s a little bit. But what you need to know about Black Prior is that he is a difficulty of easy to medium, and he's more of a defense specialist and has more strong support abilities. And his special capabilities are the Bulwark Stance, special stance that blocks all incoming attacks, and then the Bulwark Slash, which is a powerful attack that can be fainted, and the Bulwark Counter negates all unblockable attacks if properly timed. So I do hope this guy does help anybody else that is having a hard time with Black Prior. I will mainly go over his moveset and go over the feats and the gear perks. And I will also show you guys gameplay of Black Prior to help you understand him as well. And I'll go over combos and stuff too. So if you do enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. But let's get straight into the video. Alright, so going over Black Prior, the first thing we'll go over is his bash. Now, Black Prior's bash, uh, it does around 14 damage uh, as a startup. It's more of an opener. Uh, it is a bit, it's not too slow, but it is a bit delayed. As you can see, there is a little animation to it. So you will have to use this bash a bit wisely because people will tend to react to it. But it does give off 14 damage and it does cause 9 stamina. The next thing we'll go over is Black Prior's side dodge lights. Now his side dodge lights are 14 damage on both sides and also Black Prior does have a front forward heavy which does 20 damage on top and it also can be used as a crusher counter as well. Alright the next thing that we'll go over for Black Prior is his zone. Now Black Prior's zone is a good way to get yourself some distance from your opponent. It's a good way to just gain distance or just separate yourself from your opponent. And it's a good way to get some damage too, which you can also get a light, a guaranteed light that does 14 damage. And it also takes your opponent's stamina away as well. As you see there, it did take away the opponent's stamina just from a, just a little bit. And now if you keep on spamming it, uh, you'll also lose stamina for yourself. But the only thing they can do is just dodge the incoming attack. And that's the way you can beat this zone out. And the next move I'll go over it for Black Prior is Hawk Charge which all you got to do is just press X mid animation. So as you see here, I throw out a heavy, press X, and I automatically get a little charge there for Black Pirate. This is a good way to initiate your attacks or to like get into your opponent's face, really. And the next thing I'll go over is the Bulwark Stance. Now, the Bulwark Stance is like this. You just got to hold down the right stick if you're on Xbox. Uh, same goes with PlayStation. PC, I don't know. I'm not for sure on that one, but for... Uh, Xbox and PlayStation uh, you just hold down the right stick and you're in the bulwark stance now You can do a little thing a flip pretty much when an opponent throws an attack at you You can press right bumper to flip the opponent's attacks And it's not just any heavies or lights that you can flip you can also flip bashes And plus, it's not only that too with the bashes as well. There's more to Black Prior that you can flip. I know you can flip other kind of feats too. I, I for example, I know Hitakiri's uh, fourth feat. You can also flip that. If people tend to try to ledge you off of a ledge, you can flip that as well. It is honestly crazy what you can do with this bulwark stance and the flip itself. It's it's honestly insane. All right, so next thing, the next move I'll go over is Black Prior's Bulwark Slash. Now, in Bulwark Stance, he also has a Bulwark Slash. Uh, his Bulwark Slash does 27 damage, and it costs 12 stamina. Uh, this is the go-to move that every Black Prior main uses to maybe fake their opponents out and get some more damage going. And then continue the chain. Now, the only downside with the Slash is you want to use it wisely. You don't want to use it too much. You don't want to try to spam it so much because the opponent will tend to parry you and you'll also get hit with damage back. So, you want to use this in your chains uh, just wisely, honestly. So, like this, you can use it like that to just fake it out. Or if you want to, you can. What I like to do is I like to hold it down and whenever they try to go for a guard break, I let it fly. Sometimes it catches people. Like, I try to hold it down for maybe three seconds and then I let it go. Sometimes I'll do that. That's just something that I would do. And also how to do it, all you gotta do is just go into Bulwark Stance and just press the Heavy. That's all you gotta do. Press Heavy, which is right trigger on Xbox or PlayStation. And also one thing that I did forget to mention is that Black Prior does have crushing counters as well on all sides. And the last move is Black Prior's running attack. So his running attack is like this. And it does around 20 damage. Okay, so that's really it going over the Black Prior's moveset. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of combos of what I usually do with Blood Prior. All right, so going over a good combo, um, what I like to do, I like to go with light, faint the top heavy into another light, and fainting the forward slash. The next one it involves with the bash, so I go with the bash first, let the bulwark slash fly, and delay the bash. I try to delay that bash because sometimes it catches people. So delaying this bash, it really does catch people off guard sometimes. What I like to do is I like to next step into Hawk's Charge, Light, Faint the Bulwark Slash, go for a guard break into the the heavy. Well, guard break into the heavy, really. <laughs> but yeah, these are like a little combos. Uh, some of them I do, uh, some of them I don't. One of them I don't do, but those are like little combos I just give out for you guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the feats for Black Prior and go into the gear perks. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm gonna go over the entire feats for Black Prior. Now I will leave the information hub for you guys down below if you want to see more information for these feats. What are the best feats available? I'll have the information hub down below for you guys. But let's get started. We're gonna go overview. We're gonna be doing an overview of the feats. So for the first one, we have Sinister Shield. Grant a shield to an ally by inflicting some damage to yourself. Then the second one, we have Iron Lungs. This is a passive. You can still sprint when out of stamina. Then third one, we have Speed Revive. This here is a passive. You rapidly revive fallen teammates. Then for tier two feat, for the first one, we have Healing Ward. This here is a passive. You slowly regain health while in Bulwark Stance. And then for the second one, we got Doom Banner. Nearby enemies have less powerful defense. And then for the third one, we have Inspire. Allies and yourself do more damage. Soldiers fight faster. For the third tier, for the first one we have Oathbreaker. You remove all shields from targets and temporarily prevent them from gaining any more shields. And then for the second one we have Punch Through. It's a passive. Your blood damage is increased. And then the third one we got Tough as Nails. This here is a passive. Raises max health when unlocked. Okay then for the tier 4 feast. The first one we have Umbral Shelter. For a short time generate shields for you and your nearby allies. Shields they don't stack. Then for the second one we got Regenerate. This here is a passive. Regenerate your health when out of combat. And then for the final one which is Mora Boost. You improve damage for you and your allies for a short duration. This is what I usually take for my feats. Uh, for Blood Prior, I decided to take off the first one because, I mean, sure, you can give it to an ally, but you're also losing health for yourself. I'd rather just get a speed revive off of, for my ally. Whoever's down, whoever's fallen, I'll just speed revive them, get them back up, and then we just continue the fight. But really, it's up to you guys on which feats you want to take. Again, you can use the information hub to look over the information with these feats. That way you guys can pick out the best feats possible to take them in Dominion, in Breach, or etc. Alright, now we're going to go over the gear perks for Black Prior. So, for his first gear perk, we have Remedy. Upon hero kill, heal plus 10 health. And then for the second one, we got Bastion. When in a zone or carrying a banner slash offering, gain 10% damage resistance. And then for the third one, we got Feline Agility. When gaining a renown level, gain 4% movement speed for the first, then 2% for each subsequent level. And then for the fourth one, we got Vengeful Barrier. When exit revenge gain a temporary plus 25 shield and then for the fifth one we got last stand when in critical health gain 40 percent damage resistance and then for the fifth one we got bulk up when gaining a renown level increase maximum health by four and then rising dawn would be the last one which is basically revive allies to 75 percent health now in my opinion i'm gonna just keep it like this highly recommend going for last stand because when you're whenever you're in critical health you gain 40 percent damage resistance 40 percent damage resistance so say like you're low you'll take a little bit of damage and you won't die instantly you'll be hard to kill in a way i highly recommend just taking the last in because of that uh for other two i usually take a vengeful barrier to gain a 25 health shield really i mean a health shield would be really good and for the last one you can take a uh, bastion which you gain 10 percent damage resistance so with that plus last stand uh whenever you're whenever you're in a zone really so whenever you're in the zone you gain 10 percent damage resistance i would say maybe if you want to go for a bastion last stand and ventral barrier to be extra beefy and tanky you can take those but honestly it's up to you guys on which gear perk you want to take for black prior you uh, you can look at the information hub to look at more of in-depth information for these gear perks All right ladies and gentlemen win or lose i do hope you guys get something out of this so here we go all right we got the varangian All right, let's go ahead and throw this out. Let it fly. Oh, nice parry. Oh, I should have just let that fly. Oh, nice. Oh, what the heck? Nice. Garbage. Let it fly. 
Aw. Ooh. Zone. Ah, that's the downside with the zone. You run out of stamina. Oh, thank goodness she did not go into that all guard. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness, man. Holy smokes. Oh, if she went into her like counter. I was done for. <laughs> but uh, also, one thing that I did forget to mention is that on Black Prior's heavy here, uh, for her uh, second heavy, she also or he also has uh, an undodgeable. So that's one thing I need to tell y'all. Or I forgot to tell you guys. Let it fly. Nice. He fall for it. Or break. Nice. Trying to get him to. All right. Bar break. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go with the side. I need to go with the bash. Oh, he dodged it. Dang, I should have, I should have fainted it. I should have fainted it. I thought, I thought he was gonna like, <sighs> I thought he was gonna do a regular dodge, but I guess he did the side dodge. It is what it is, man. This is gonna, this turned out to be a good match, honestly. Uh, that, that Kyoshi, he, he threw that side dodge heavy out. It is what it is, man. This Varangian, I gotta be careful with though. I'm trying to get some crutch counters for y'all, but it's, it's not working out. Okay, there goes one crush encounter. See that catches? Yeah, it does. Okay. Nice. All oh, good stuff. Nice. There we go. Oh, I tried to land it too. Crush counter. Oh, I had the I had the crutch counter again. Oh, let's go. Oh, I had the crutch counter again, man. Ah, I had it. I had it right there. I, I she threw it out. I, I don't know what's going on here. Cause it feels like, yeah, he that that Varangian is laggy. That's why they're, they're super laggy. All right, here we go. Crutch encounter. Nice parry. Okay. Good weight. Holy smokes. Nice. Oh, I should have waited. Mmm. Mm, he went the zone. Oh. Oh, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff, Kyoshin. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, oh, that that is that is unfortunate gaming right there, bro. Eki Ocean's giving me a headache. <laughs> man, man, he's doing good. He's mixing me up. I, I like it. I like it. Round five. Okay, here we go. Round five. She got her own crush counter. See so if we can get you out of stamina. Okay, never mind. All right, yeah. One thing I did forget to mention is that Black Prior's uh, whole uh, bashes can also take away stamina. Nice. Blame me. I'll just sell with that. All right. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Good fight. Good fight, Kyosha. <sighs> I did my best. I did my best. I did the best I could, man. Well, that prior is punishes. Okay, so for wall punishes, for side throw, you will want to go ahead and do side heavy. And for regular throw here, you will want to do top heavy which would be 27 damage for that one and 24 damage for the side throw.
<laughs> Never out of stamina. It'd be light and heavy. Top light, top heavy. That's mainly the punishes. Now, there are more punishes on the information hub. Again, link for it will be in the description. Okay, Black Prior in For Honor is a solid heavy in my opinion. Really, Black Prior has crushing counters on all sides and the ball wire counter, which flips your opponents and also the ball wire slash, which you can catch people off guard with that move a lot. A lot of Black Priors do tend to try to catch people off guard with that move. And you can also try to separate yourself with Black Prior zone. So overall, Black Prior is just your standard defensive heavy. So... You will want to take advantage of that and use those mechanics to your advantage. The crushing counters and the bulwark. The best defense, again, is the best offense. That's what I could say, really, about Black Prior. But I do hope this guy does help anybody out that is new to Black Prior and has and is having a hard time with Black Prior. Or if you're coming back and you're trying to get into Black Prior, I hope this guy does help you guys. And thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. And uh, if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like. And uh, also subscribe if you're new for more For Honor content here on the YouTube channel. And again, everyone, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers here on this YouTube channel. It, it's going to happen. Like, it will happen. And I can't wait to do the 10,000 subscriber special with you guys it's gonna be amazing do hope you guys uh, enjoy the videos and whatnot and uh, yeah uh, leave a comment on what you think about black prior and how would you play black prior in for honor would you play them more defensively balanced or offensively and aggressively let me know in the comments down below but with that being said i'm the gamer raptor ladies and gentlemen and i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys peace out